Welcome to the show Creations of Clay. And my name is uh, Louis Palladini. And uh, I just wanted to show you a sculpture I was working on right here. It's of a Stegosaurus versus an Allosaurus. And uh, it's, a, it's a very cool sculpture. There's a lot of detail here. And I'll just kind of rotate it so you can kind of see the detail on the, the dinosaurs. The Allosaurus and the Stegosaurus, they lived in the same period. I think it was, if I remember correctly, it was the Jurassic period. And uh, the Allosaurus is the one that has the three fingers. T-Rex is the one that has the two fingers. So, But I'll just rotate this so you can just kind of see the detail that went into that piece. And uh, rotate that. And we'll keep my hand out of the way. This is one of my favorite sculptures with, with the Stegosaurus. In, uh, but uh, tonight, what I'd like to show you is uh, it's a cute little animal. Everyone loves it. It's, uh, it's a little field mouse. And I will show you how to do this from start to finish. And I will rotate this so you can get a good look at him. And I did him a, a light color because it's easier to see all the detail with the lighter colors. Usually they're gray, but I figured that was a good color to use. There are different types of clay that you can use. We have a modeling clay here. It's an oil-based clay, and it's very good to use. You can use it again and again, and it won't uh, harden. And I used to use this all the time when I was a little kid, and it's a great clay to use, but it just will never harden. So it just, when you're not, when the item that you've completed, if you want to change it, you can make a new item, and that's the great thing about it. Then we also have an air hardening clay, which can be bought in the art store, just as well as the other one. And uh, this hardens like in a couple of hours or overnight, and uh, then you can paint it. It's a uh, good clay to work with if, if you do want to paint like I'm painting on the show. My preference for the clay is a clay called Super Sculpey. It's great because you can fire it in the oven at 275 degrees for 15 minutes, and uh, then once it's hard, you can paint it whatever color you want. And, it's just, it's a really good clay to use, or I enjoy using it. Tonight, I'll uh, show you the different size balls of clay that we'll be using for the mouse. This size ball clay here will be used for the body. We will have this ball of clay here on the back. That will be used for the tail. Mice have a very long tail, so. And then this other ball of clay here we'll be using for the head. And then... There's these two smaller balls of clay here in the back. Those are going to be used for the feet. And I'll show you how to put those underneath the body. And then we have the mouse ears. We have the little button-like eyes. These are very small pieces of clay. And then we're going to have the two front legs, which are approximately this size. And then we're going to have the little button-like nose, which is a very tiny piece of clay here. So the first step in the process is we will take this piece of clay and we're going to mold it into the shape of the body for the mouse. Almost like a potato shape. And you just work it like this. And I will show you. I'm just going to work it with our fingers like that. And you know what we would also do tonight is I will also show you how to use like this little mouse that I have here. I'm going to kind of use them as a guide tonight to compare what I'm doing to this little mouse here. So that way we can make sure that we're making the form correctly. And I'm just going to, but we will continue to make the body right here. And we will make that. And the next step in the process is we're going to make the head. We're going to take this ball of clay here and we're going to mold this into the head, the shape of the head. So what we'll do is just take this and you kind of want to make it somewhat pointed here. I'll show you. You just kind of work it like that. And we're going to I'll show you how to kind of make that little point. So this is what the head will look like from the side. This is what it will look like from the front. That's what it looked like from the other side. And then if you look at it from the top, it will look like that. And the bottom will be approximately like that. So the next step in the process is we're going to put these two pieces of clay 
together. So I'm going to take this and just kind of work that in like that. And we're going to take, and I'm going to show you how, we're going to kind of just mold that in like this. We're going to take, I want to make sure you can see what I'm doing. The, we're going to just mold the head in. We work it, take the thumb and just kind of work that clay so you can kind of mold those together. For the very bottom, we have our trusty friend, the toothpick. We're going to take the toothpick and we're going to take and just kind of work that from the bottom, go very slowly and go like this, all the way to the other side, because that, that will make sure that it's attached from the bottom like that. So what we'll do is I want to kind of take this mouse now and kind of compare the two. So what we would do is I'm going to take the head, and I notice I want to flatten that out a little more, like this. because we want to make the mouse the shape and go like that. So we'll get, get that. Okay. Work that like that. So the next step in the process, now that we've got that done, is we're going to take and we're going to make the mouse ears. The mouse ears are right here. This little ball of clay, I will show you, we'll take the, the little piece of clay like this and we almost want to flatten it out between the thumb and the fingers. And we'll show you, you just kind of flatten that out like that. We'll just keep working it, round it out. So this is what it will look like from front. You'll see this is what it looks like from the side, the back. You know, that's what it kind of looks like from the top. So we make it thin. But one of the things we want to do is take our toothpick now. And we're going to take, and I, I try to do it this way with, let's see if I can work it this way so you can see it. You want to take and take the toothpick and almost make like little indentations in the clay. Let's see. So you're going to work it like this. Just take and just work that in. Make those little indentations with the toothpick. gives it a really cool effect. It makes it look like the, the inner part of the ear. What we will do now is we will take, and I'm just going to round that out again. I'm going to take, and we're going to attach that to the mouse right here. So we're going to take, and we're just going to work that in like this. Take, work it in with your fingers. But now when we turn it to the other side, we want to make sure that that's going to stay on the mouse head. So we're going to take and just kind of take and work that clay a little bit. Take and use the toothpick and kind of blend the two together. Because that, uh, that way it will, it will make sure that it stays. We'll just kind of work that like that. Kind of go right along like that and kind of work it together. So what we'll do now is we're going to take and we're going to make the other ear. So we would take, and we're going to make the other ear. We're going to flatten this out. Let's see. Get that. We're going to make the little indentation. make those indentations like that. And then you can we'll look at that. And then that's what it'll look like 
from this side. That's, you're looking in towards the inner ear, the side, the back. We're going to take now, we're going to work this ear in on the other side of the mouse. So what I will try to do is look to make sure it's in approximately the same location. So we will take and just work that in with your fingers like that. You work that ear in like that. And now on the other side, like I've shown you before, we want to take and use the toothpick and kind of just work that so it, it blends together. We want to get it from that side. So go start and go slowly along and just kind of drag that along like that. You want to work the clay in so it attaches to the head properly. So now we will look at that. I want to make sure that it's about approximately the same size. So that's what the mouse will look like from the front right now. That's what he will look like from the side. And we'll just kind of work it. So now the next step that we will take in this process is we are going to make the hind feet or the that are right in the back. So I'm going to take this ball of clay and we're going to take and we're going to kind of attach this underneath the mouse. You're going to see that little ball of clay. We we'll just kind of attach it like that. Just kind of work it in. And we're going to do the same to the other side. So we're going to take this piece of clay. We're, I'm going to round it out a little bit. And we're going to stick that underneath on the other side for the foot. I just want to make sure they're approximately in the same location. So the... Um, that will create a very nice effect. I'll show you what we'll do in a minute to create those feet. They're tucked under the mouse right now. The next step in the process that we want to take is I want to make the front legs. So we're going to try to take these and roll them almost into little logs like we've done in the past. Take these little feet or legs and want to roll them almost into a log-like shape. So this is what it will look like from the side. This is what it will look like from the front. This is what it will look like from the top. So we're going to take this now, and we're going to work this in to the front. So we're going to take and just kind of work that in like that. And you just take the clay with your fingers and just kind of work it in to the body. But what we will do is take our trusty friend, the toothpick again, and we will just... I would take this and go very slowly like this and just work that clay in from both sides because we want to make sure that we attach those legs to the body. I will proceed to take and make a, the other leg. And it's going to look, look like a little log like this. And we will attach that to the other side. I'm going to look and it's approximately here that we put it. So we're going to take and just work that in like that. And we're going to take the toothpick and we're going to work that from the other side. So I want to take, I want to make sure you can be able to see it. So you take that toothpick and just kind of work along the edge again and go down. So it um, it, blend, it gets molded together. So now I'm just going to do a little check to see that the little mouse is proceeding the way I want. And we're going to take now, and I'm going to show you, we're going to take these feet and kind of just bend them a little bit like that. Now I want to see if he, if I put him down on the ground, how he'll, he'll do. Okay, he seems to be doing okay. 
the next thing we will want to do is I want to create a tail. So we take, I'm going to take this piece of clay and I'm going to roll it. I'm going to put it on the board here. And we're going to roll like this. This will enable us to make the mouse's tail. I'm looking at the clay right now, and it looks like I might have made the ball of clay a little too large, but we can always make it a little smaller. But this, this is to give us a good start on the tail. So what I'm going to do is just kind of take, I'm going to pinch off a little piece of clay at the end because I think I made it a little too long. So what I'm going to do is we're going to take, and we're just going to work that. So we'll take and proceed to put this down on the ground again, on the table, and just kind of roll that, because that will give us that nice, round tail that we're looking for. And then we'll take that. It looks like it's approximately the right size. We're going to take that now, and we're going to attach that to the back of the mouse here. So we take push it in like that, but you're going to take your fingers and kind of just work the clay like this to make sure that the, the tail is attached. And we go all the way around with the fingers, and that will attach the tail for the mouse. Now, we can, the next thing that we will want to do is I want to take and make the button-like eyes. So we take this little piece of clay, and we're going to make it into a pancake. So you take this, roll it between your fingers, this little piece of clay. I'll show you the size in my hand, that way you can get an idea. That's how big it is. So we're going to take that and squish it like a pancake. So we're going to take this, put it in between our fingers, and just kind of squeeze it. So the next step in the process is we want to create his eyes. So we're going to take, and we're going to put the eye approximately in that location. Now we're going to take and we're going to create and, and do the other eye. So we're going to take this eye, it's approximately the same size as before, and I will take and we're going to make that and we're going to squish it into a little pancake. So what I will do now is I will show you with the mouse, we're going to put that in approximately the same location. right here. I'll just try to get, let you see it from the side. I want to make sure that I put it in the right spot. So this is, this is what it looks like right now. You'll see that's what it looks like from the right side, head on, and that's what it looks like from the side. And you can kind of see the mouse now the little feet on the bottom, I wanted to kind of have them tucked under him, so that's why they're very small, because he's, he's sitting on his haunches, and, and it's, a lot of his leg is hiding underneath his body. So the next step that we will take in the process is there's another piece of clay. It's very tiny. Let's see, I almost lost it there. I'll put it in my hand. You can see that. I'm going to put that there for the nose. So I'm going to take that piece and we're going to put that right in front of his nose here. So now you have the little nose. And the next step in the process now that we will take is I want to create his feet. So we will take, and we've done this in the past, I'm going to take and make little notches in the, to create his feet. So we're going to do one, two, and then we'll do three. And then here we go. One, two, three. So you kind of created those little indentations. Now we're going to do the same in the back, too. We're going to do one, two, three. And then we'll do the same on the other side. We'll do one, two, three. And it creates those little feet. 
And another thing that I want to do too is I want to, we have a, an, a happy little mouse. So what I want to do is I want to take and create a happy face on the mouse. So we take that, just take the toothpick and just kind of go like that. And I just want to check my work to, and then we're going to do the same on the other side. So we will take, make the indentation with the toothpick, kind of bring it along. I want to make sure I'm doing this right. So just bring it along. So we take and go like that. So that's where you make the nice little happy face there. The next thing that we will want to do is we want to make the mouse's fur. So we're going to take very short strokes on the face to create the fur. So you take the toothpick and just kind of work it like this to give it that fur-like effect. Just kind of just work it like that. And do that. Now for the ears, I would put your finger behind the ear when you go to do the ears because otherwise you, you'll disrupt the ear. So just kind of take in little strokes, just go like that and create the fur doing it like for the ear. And you'll do the same on the other side. For the body now, I would take and just do little strokes for the legs, like this. And you're going to do the entire leg, you're going to go completely around. And then you're also going to do the body, like this. This is, you, can, you can create the fur. Now you're going to want to take and do this fur all around the body. You're just going to keep going like that, short strokes, and create that fur. When you go to do the tail, which is going to be a little harder, I would take and maybe even place it on the table like this, and then just kind of gently use the toothpick like this, because you don't want to destroy the tail. It's very delicate, and I would just use very short strokes and just go all around the tail like this, to create that fur-like effect. And you'll continue to do the fur on the other side. So what I would do is just, just do short strokes like this. Go all the way around with the toothpick. And you know, it, it gives you a very, very good effect to create the mouse. It's amazing what a little toothpick can do to kind of create that fur-like effect and make it look very realistic looking. So that's what you'll do to proceed to make the mouse. That's, we've done all the steps and you know you get a pretty good little model of a mouse right here. What I will do for the next step is I will show you what it looks like when we've completed the sculpture process. On this mouse here you can see all the fur. Made all the fur all around. Yeah, I, I did burn the, the ears a little bit. I left it in the oven a little too long, but we can paint over that. You can see the little smiley face that's here, the little button-like nose. But you can see how I went all around to make the fur. And I even made the fur on the tail, too. Yeah, it's ever so fine, very fine. But uh, I will show you how to paint this now. The types of paints that you, that you will want to use, there's acrylic paints. It can be bought in any art store. There's about 18 in this package. You know, it's great because these are non-toxic. They're safe for kids. And we, the colors we'll be using tonight is we have, we're going to be using three, let's see, three or four different colors. I'll take them out of the package and show you which ones we'll be using. We'll be using pink for the inner ear. We'll be using black for the eyes. We will be using a tan-like color for the body. Yeah, it looks like that uh, about covers all the colors that we need. And I'll proceed to put these over here. And the types of brushes that we will want to use are for the body. We want to use a nice wide brush like this because that will help us to make the body. And then for the finer detail, we will use some smaller brushes. 
we'll use a small brush like this with a very fine point for the eyes. It, uh, you can do a tremendous amount of detail with these smaller brushes. And then I will take and we will use another small brush like the other one and we'll use this for the ears. As you can see it's got a very small point. The first step in the process that we will take is we're going to start painting the tan color. So what we would take is we'll dip this in like this and what I would probably do is start with maybe the tail and do back and forth, back and forth on the tail. Like I said, you want to do back and forth, back and forth. Paint it. it will take and go back and forth, back and forth. And you know, it gives it a nice effect once you put all the paint on there. The next step that I will proceed to take is I want to do the ears. So what we're going to do is I'll paint these ones. They, they had the little burn marks on them, but once you paint over them, it, it gets rid of the burn. And, we, and you go back and forth, back and forth. We'll paint the other ear on the other side the same way. paint right over that. Then we will proceed to paint the body. And you go back and forth with strokes like this. You'll proceed to paint the legs. And you paint all around like that. Going back and forth, back and forth. And you know, just fill it in nicely. And it'll give it a really nice effect. Next step that I will take, I, I'll just show you how to paint most of the animal. And I won't paint the entire thing on the show. But I just wanted to give you an idea of what to do. We want to paint the ears. We have to paint those a pink color. So I'll take one of these smaller brushes. And we will take, and I'll show you, we're going to paint the pink. The pink will be for the inner ears, and it will be for the nose. The first thing we want to do here is paint the nose. We'll paint that pink. Just go around ever so slightly. And then the next thing we want to paint is the inner ear, which is right here. So we'll take and paint like that to give it the, uh, the inner ear. And we'll proceed to do the other side the same way. Take and just paint that inner ear like that. It gives a really nice effect. We will proceed now to do the eyes. That's going to be with the black paint. I'll show you how to do the eyes. We take, we want to dip the brush in the black paint. And just ever so slightly here, we're going to touch the eyes. So you just kind of go like this. Paint all around. That's what it will look like from the side when you paint it. We'll proceed to do the eye on the other side. So we'll get this. And just paint like that. And then what you can do too is you can kind of just look, make sure you get the sides too. Get the entire eye. But that's what it will look like from this side here. So the next step in the process is once you've painted the entire mouse in this manner, I will show you what the finished mouse should look like. This right here is your finished mouse. As you can see, I painted the pink nose. We have the, the, pink, the pink ears. 
You just paint that in there. On the outer edge of the ear, I would keep that the tan color, but just paint the inside or the inner ear the pink color. You can see the eyes were black. And you can see on the other side how the eye is black. And the inner ear was painted pink, but the entire mouse we painted the, the tan color. And it really had a really nice effect by doing that. Normally you might see a little field mouse and he might be gray, but for the purposes of doing a good demonstration tonight, I want to use a lighter color because you can see a lot more of the detail. I do want to thank you for coming to Creations in Clay, and I look forward to seeing you again next week. And I will get back to adding the finishing touches to my sculpture. Thanks. Hi kids, how would you like to win some professional modeling clay like the one that I use in the show? Please send pictures of your creations in clay and we will enter them into a drawing. You can send by mail or email and I can't wait to see what you've been up to.